Bites here. I was nice. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Yeah. Bro, please be a four or five pounder. Please. Oh, my God. <laughs> yo, what's poppin', people? Welcome back to another video. Listen, we got a Lake Lanier video for you guys. A lot of people have been asking about it, and I'm like, man, I'm ready to get on the boat. Got my boy Brad in the back. Brad on the track, Brad in the back. Brad and, in uh, the water. There's something that we're both wearing right now, these Big Bass Energy hats. Finally dropped on my website, so if you guys want to check them out, you can. I'll drop a link down below. Also, if you want to check out the Big Bass Energy hoodies, copy one while you can. And uh, by the way, we only got a couple of these left. Um, I did make an Instagram post, so if you guys want to have like more updates when new merch and everything drops, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll pop that up on the screen. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the support for everyone that's actually copped one of the Big Bass Energy hats. Our first order is almost out of stock and that's just amazing to see. And I'll keep you guys updated when we get some more hats in. But uh, a couple hours after this video is posted, the hats are probably gonna be gone. So get them while you can, kickingtheirbass.com. But today, we're gonna be swim bait fishing and topwater fishing on Lake Lanier for some giant spotted bass. It's been a while since we filmed a Lake Lanier episode. It's just been forever since I've been out here. This is some of the most fun I have fishing obviously if you guys don't know this was my home lake this is where i grew up fishing and uh fishing for some giant fat spotted bass and brad has been wanting to go for so long so we're finally making it happen today so brad uh what what happened this morning bro i got in the water <laughs> so <laughs> i didn't i didn't beg noah for a hoodie if you if you look oh did you hear that brad look at that brad I'm pretty Should we wet. even keep talking? Yeah, look, look, look. Yeah, All right. yeah. Half his head's wet. He had to, he had a long story. He had to grab the strap, and one of the straps is off. But, anyways, we just saw a fish school. We're going to hop right into you. this one. If you're Let's new to the catch. channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell also. Go hit the like button if you like the video. Go subscribe to Brad's <laughs> channel, by the way, BDR Fishing. And uh, we're going to hop into this one. Let's get it. All right, guys, we are about to get it started right here. I just rigged up two rods. That's literally all I have today because, listen, if it's going to happen, this is what they're going to be biting. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. By the way, just ignore my combos right now. I know they look all types of weird. I traveled out of town. I didn't have everything I needed. And just, <laughs> this is the Christmas edition. And this is the Halloween edition. So <laughs> we, we looking a little weird today, but um, on this one, this is my braided combo, mock smash on a mock two. And we have a gunfish in chrome as a walking bait. And this one, we have the new Speed Wake by Six Cents. And this is in that great looking natural color. I'm telling you, if these spots are biting today, this is gonna be a killer bait. By the way, I got this in my Super Six box. If you guys wanna get a discount on the Super Six, I'll pop my code up on the screen. If you guys don't know what the Super Six is, it's a monthly subscription box um, with all premium baits in it. I didn't bring the box out, but I did get it out of there right before I came out. So if you guys would like, check it out down below. Also, if you'd like to just get 10% off on any of their baits, I'll pop the code up on my screen as well. Are you ready, Brad? You guess so. It's been a long day, Brad. Brad's been in class. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. We're gonna be chucking around the top water a good bit. And uh, if they're not wanting to come up for that, I'm gonna be throwing that swim bait. So let's go ahead and get started, get on our first spot, and uh, hopefully just catch some mega spots today, guys. I'm excited about it. Hit that freaking like button. This is gonna be an amazing episode, and we're about to kill it. I already see bait under me. Fish chasing bait, holy smokes. On my side scan. What? Right to our right. About 15 foot to our right, we got some two toads on. What? Not, that's our left, boy. My bad, wrong side, guys. <laughs> huh? Is it a subtle bite? I ain't no subtle bite, boy. If they're gonna eat it, you're gonna, you might, you might see a five pound spot go airborne. Oh, they're right there. You see that? Oh. oh, 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 Brad, oh, oh Brad, <laughs> why are you moving yours? That was mine. <laughs> he was How did he miss it? He, he missed it like it? three times. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the first spot, I already got some top water action. That's a good little sign. That was actually, a, did you see that last bite? That was about a three and a half pounder. I'll take a three and a half. Oh. Just hit me again. Are you serious? Yeah. 
They're not like coming out for it. I cannot believe that fish didn't commit right there. I thought we were about to have one right away. I was like, all right. So me and Bradley are on a tight time crunch today. He's got to get back to class. He's got to drive an hour and a half back to school. And I got to actually edit this video for you guys tonight. So I'm going to be leaving when he's leaving. Plus I got to drive him back to his car. So we, we got a few hours to work today. So we are pretty much going to be covering some water really fast today. We already fished this spot longer than I'd want to fish it. Are you serious? Yeah, we fished it way too long. Let's, let's go ahead and go. We're going to try it just like real quick and then we'll go to this next spot. Fast, let's get it. I'm praying that they're gonna be on this spot. I don't see one bet they eat this. This spot would be good for this, especially with the little wind that there is. Look at all that bait on the sides. Oh, oh Bradley, dude, you gotta you gotta calm down. That was about a five pounder. <laughs> oh, that was and if you gotta let them, you gotta leak. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, guys. You gotta let them eat it. Ah. You never witness anything. You gotta let them eat it. All right, that was. Not don't bad, don't dude. stop walking it until you until they actually until they actually got it. Trust me, I'm probably gonna do it on my first couple too. That was about a five pounder. When I glanced back, I saw half of its tail out of the water. <laughs> we just need the monkey off her back. This is where Quavo caught his catfish. <laughs> Where they just want that swim bait. <laughs> why did he not eat it? Tell me why he didn't eat it. They should eat the crumb today, but when they when they're missing it like that, the the rule and thumb is to switch your color. But like that fish should have ate it. I mean that fish went airborne. Oh my. What is, what is going on dude all right guys i've had so many bites and they're just not committing i mean we've had around 10 bites today and they're just not eating it correctly i'm, I'm gonna try something totally different so this is the bait this is actually a saltwater bait huge wait till you see how i'm gonna work this so the plan with this we haven't really seen any schooling action we've seen a couple fish come up but we haven't seen anything crazy just fish coming up and hitting our baits for the most part and fish boiling and on some bait fish we haven't seen really any like hardcore schooling action so i like to fish this when somebody's with me i don't usually catch a ton of fish on it just because it's obnoxious which you're going to see in a second but this bait is great for calling up the fish to the top of the water column and, and firing them up i'm going to throw it in there and create a bunch of obnoxious noise in hopes of calling those fish up to my bait. You want to see how I throw this? Practice. Yeah, watch. Watch your rod. Just like that. I'm just going to come up with a little pattern, kind of work like a little jerk bait. They are. Ooh. Hammered me right there. Oh, hammered me right there. Guys, my GoPro just messed up, but first cast on this spot, I got hammered, and Bradley's like, you didn't get hammered. There's a dang fluke in there. I was like, your rods don't get taken out of your hand. And sure enough. So, I mean, really? I'm I like, saw your line. They're not eating it. All right, Bradley, I'm going to do it, dude. I don't think there's, I think that tells us everything. All right, so we are going to switch up to this fluke. They're just not eating the swim bait in top water. We're gonna put a fluke on. Bradley has a pearl white on, and then I have this one called Glimmer Blue. It's not the disco, but we're gonna put this fluke on. And hopefully, just start smacking them. We gotta adjust, and we were really want, we we're really stubborn on that swim bait top water bite, just because. I mean, that's that's prime content, guys. I also thought they wouldn't hit a fish here. 
Got one? Uh, no, he came off, dude. Just eating it weird, ain't they? On the bottom? I think I could have caught him, though. On the bottom? Yeah. Probably moved off the spot. Oh my god, dude. That was a big one. Oh my god. Throw that fluke in there. There's a lot of fish here. Oh, yes, Brad. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one, too. <laughs> you want me to get that net for you? Yeah. Does it be safe? Good job, Brad. Good job, Brad. Oh, yeah. That's a good little one. Got the monkey off, guys. That's about two, two and a half pounder. Oh, that's a good one. Is there? It's a fatty. It's a fatty, Brad. We got the monkey off. Good job. This was a gut instinct to come here, dude. I'll turn to your last second. All right, guys, just caught this spot right here. Hold on. Two uh, and a quarter, yeah. I'd say. Show them their stomach, man. Look at the, look at this look. <laughs> Slobs on the top water. I'm excited, maybe we'll get a couple more. Put this one in the well. We're gonna keep our best four today, or four or five. Let's see what we can come up with. That's a fatty, man. Good job. Finally got, we, after like what? How many bites on that top water? 10. <laughs> 15. And these fish are everywhere. We've had a lot of bites here, so let's uh let's keep fishing. Get back in there. A double up. I'm waiting on it. I know it's gonna happen today. We got about two and a half hours to make it happen. We'll know what make it happen. Got him. Missed him. He's on there. What are you doing? He hit me twice and didn't eat it. I didn't even move it. Your hook's probably exposed. God. No, he's on there. Got him that Got time. Got him that time. Should I throw in there? Um. Should I get the net? Heck no. <laughs> he's tiny. He's fat though. He's no, it's hooked up on a donk, no, a spot. <laughs> Look at that boys. First fish today for me. So it's two fish overall. He hit that thing like three different times. If, if I had to guess, there's probably multiple fish, but look at that. Uh, this is the one thing that I love about the spots, guys. Look how beautiful those fish are. I mean, look at the markings on them. They're just pretty fish. Fat belly, even on that small fish. One thing to think about about the spots, I want you to show that to them. See that? Mm -hmm. That spot on his tongue. And have you ever felt that? No. Feel that, brother. Oh. See, doesn't it feel it's like, like a his tooth? Lip? Yeah, it's like a, it feels the same as their lip. It's like sandpaper. It's the best way to describe it. That's a pretty little spot. Nothing big on that fluke. Look at his fat little belly. Beautiful markings. You wanna get him back? get him back in the water. Look at that belly on that thing, man. That's why I love fall fishing. Catching him that fat, you can't beat it. But let's go ahead and get back in there. Oh my God. Dude. Get him. Thank the Lord. First cast on this spot. I think it's a good one too. Oh, there's one behind you, behind you. Oh, dude, you reeled it away from one. No, I don't want the net. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's three pounder. You actually had one behind. When you were reeling it in, there was a fish literally right behind your flute. That's a good one. That's a good spot. Look at that, boys. Show them that fish. These saltwater hooks. They don't play around. That right there, guys. The ones that we want. That's almost a three pound spot right there. Look how fat his belly is. They've been eating bait. We just hit this one spot by the main lake. Look how small these mouths are on the spot. It's so Tiny. weird. I haven't been spot fishing in a while. The beautiful spot right there. On that big chug bug, that saltwater bait, I was talking about calling those fish up. First cast out there ripping it, started hitting it. Bradley started reeling in his fluke to grab the camera. And there was literally a bass right behind it. It wasn't big, but it, it was about to eat his fluke, which is crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and throw him in the live bowl real quick so we might get a cool picture. We're gonna get back in here, see if we can catch some more. You got a heads up penny just sitting right there. Really? Literally, there's a, there's a heads up penny just chilling. Oh, thank the Lord, man. Let's go, guys. Just pulled up on this spot. I was just thinking to myself, I said, I'm gonna try it. We're right next to it. Sure enough, first cast, slamming that chug bug. And the bite's been so slow. It's like, we did have that morning bite, but they weren't committing. We got into the afternoon right here. The bite just cut off completely. The fluke bite, everything cut off. We pulled up to this spot and it's good. And that boat going through right there, remember how we talked hope. about it? That's gonna help. And uh, what I mean by that, it's gonna stir up the bait fish. That boat's not really running, but then again, that water could move up a little bit. I cannot believe there's a fish behind your fluke, dude. That just, 
That was unfortunate. Sad. We might need to throw them flukes out there. I don't know if they... Oh, let's go, Brad. Let's go, Brad. You need the net or you good? No, I'm good. <laughs> let's go, Brad. He ain't fighting at all, is he? He's little. He's a little guy. Oh, it's a largemouth. Large Yo, get him in here. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you just caught a largemouth. Largey, baby. That's insane, bro. Now you can see you caught a largey in 30 foot of water on a top water. Bro, that's crazy, Brad. Got you a largey. You okay? Yeah, be careful. All right, we're going to throw that fluke out there. See if we can get us another one, man. I'd love to catch more than two fish on this one spot. That'd be awesome. We might let it sit for a second, go try a couple more though. We don't have much time. All right, I got it. You got her? I got it. Let me see, you got you a dang largey. I can't believe it. All right, guys, no one said he's only caught like five of these. That is crazy, bro. I got me a largey. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to throw him back. You ate that top water. Yes, sir, he's gone. <laughs> There you go, Brad. Not what you come to Lanier for, but you're on the track. Brad's on the track. Brad, I, I, we're gonna we're gonna stay here for another three minutes max, and if they're not, but then again, that yacht just blew through. Look at this, perfect. You got that water pushing up in here. Might fire these fish back up. Every hook was stuck in that fish. It was kind of dangerous. You barely hit it, too. I know. Oh, dude, that's a huge spot. Did you see him come out of the water? Throw in there, Brad. I stuck him barely. I don't know if he's gonna bite it. Oh, dude, that was about a four pounder, Brad. Did you see him come out of the water? Yeah. That was about a four pound spot. Dude, there are stacks here, man. Get him. Get him. Dude, I paused it. Are you kidding me? That's a, oh. Is there one on you? Yeah. Dude, I paused it, guys, to shut off the camera, and I and I turned it back on, and he ate it. <laughs> we are on him now. It's happening. This spot is heating up, and I think it's because all these boats going by right here. I really do. Was there one behind you, really? Bro, it blew up on mine. This fish is mean, boys. It was a mean one. Look at that. Right there. Got us an old spot of potamus. We've had better luck on this spot than we've had all day. The fish seem to be committing right here, which is awesome. They're eating this chuck. Look at that, Brad. I thought you said one. A small fish for that chuck bug, ain't it? Oh. He hit you? Blew up behind it. Again. Dude, what in the world? There's a lot of fish here, guys. We might have a good time. Look at that fat tummy. About a pound and a half spot. Beautiful. Let's get her back in. All I got to say, guys, is wow. Man, it's been a tough day. Pulled up on this spot and... The fish were just munching, man. They were just munching. We had all this boat traffic going by, pushing all the bait fish in here, and we've been catching them right now. I'm hoping we're gonna catch a couple more before we leave today, but man, what a good time. That's why you never give up. That's why you keep on fishing no matter what happens. Me and Bradley thought that we were going in today with a, with a rough one. I'm not gonna lie. We thought we were going in. I was like, I can't believe it, man. Came back to my home body of water. Was having a rough time. Um, more importantly, I mean the fish just weren't eating our baits. We had a ton of bites all the spots that we hit had fish on them They were just not committing even on the fluke. We were missing a ton of fish, which was just awkward Yeah, it was just it was weird and um, we kept our positivity high kept trying out some new stuff We came in here Brad remember when we came in here. We're like we it could still happen We literally said that before we hit that spot before this one yeah. and, and it, it ended up happening So it's you the best feeling in the world. Why is that? Got that big, big bass head. energy, man. So go cop yourself a big bass energy hat down below. But let's keep on fishing. Let's see if we're going to catch some more. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's make it happen. We're just fishing this little hump right here, guys. And uh, the, the difference between this spot and a lot of spots that we fish today is this spot's got a lot of moving water pushing in there. And that's a key player for these bait fish and to turn these fish on. And the bait that I'm throwing it's gonna fire these fish up it's got it's very aggressive if i throw it right here you guys can tell look how much water this thing's kicking out this is a saltwater lure if you guys didn't know that i'm fishing for spotted bass for it's calling those big girls up i had a four pounder roll on it a second ago i literally shut off my camera i was clicking the button i wasn't even moving my bait and that fish came up and ate it that might tell us something too these fish might be a a tad bit slower than we think so I might need to slow, slow the poppiness down on this. But these fish keep on feeding right here, which you don't see too often. 
but the reason being is because of all all this water being pushed there's all these yachts going by behind us and uh pushing all this water in here stirring up the bait fish this bass are active feeding on these herring they seem to keep biting so we're gonna throw here another five minutes each fish will add five minutes on to it if they're gonna keep biting but if they're not biting we're gonna move to another spot we'll come back here and see if it's replenished and uh keep trying to catch these big fish because there's some big ones out here like i said i had that four pounder blow up and then we caught that one that was about three pounds earlier so let's keep on casting i wasn't even gonna hit this spot bradley the only reason i hit it is because it was right next to that one you what what's up I think about the latest time. I got Ooh. Oh, that was a freak. No, we came off. Dude, they're here, Brad. They're here. That was a big one. Why are the big ones missing it? God, dog. What am I doing different than you? I'm throwing this honking chug bug. Because <laughs> you notice the water's crazy over here. It's not calm how it's been everywhere else. That was a big fish. It's like the need to throw me on a honker. Chug bug's getting it done. We've had so many bites here. I was not Oh, that's a big one, dude. I don't I don't see him, but he feels freaking huge unless I have him hooked weird. Oh, dude. Need the net? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Oh, he's pretty good. No, not really. I'm flip him, man. Okay, cool. Look at that herring that he spit out. You see that? Yeah, I saw it. Look at his belly, bro. <laughs> Some of the fattest fish you'll ever catch. And this is the most fun bite you can ever get on. And they are smoking this chug bug. The cast before actually had one hammer it. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I haven't fished a spot on Lanier where it just keeps replenishing like this in a long time. Look at that belly. That's just unnatural. Spotopotamus, baby. That's a good fish. Small mouth, fat belly, beautiful markings. Let's get back in there. Let me put him on this side. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I thought he was big, Bradley. I think it's the way I had him hooked. I mean, he was fat. He's not quite three. He's a two number. I don't know if you guys saw that. As I was flipping that fish in the boat, he spit up a huge herring. These fish are feeding, man. I don't know what we just did right here. We caught it at the right time. Through that cast before, had a big one come up, and then that one just destroyed it and listen man i'm not gonna stop casting they're gonna keep biting i'm gonna keep giving it to them Here. throwing that fluke is your best bet right now I'm just letting it sink i'll try it all right guys i'm gonna switch off to the fluke the last few minutes of the day in hopes of getting an absolute toad there he is got him Bigging. Good call right there. You need the net or you good? Nah, he's small. Is he small? Good job. Got one, guys. There you go. There you go, Brad. Oh, yeah. yeah. First cast on the fluky. Guys, this is some of the brush that we were throwing at earlier when we initially first pulled up on this spot. We caught about three of the fish off this pile. The rest of them were up on this hump. Just something to think about. That's what we're fishing right there. If you come to Lanier, this is a brush pile fishery, let me tell you. My GoPro was off. You threw a little to the right, Brad. Oh, oh dude, no! Brad, 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 Brad. Brad. My bad, guys. Brad. That was such a, a, the right. that was such a big fish. Please eat this. Come on, let, let's double up right here, Brad. This is it. This is it, Brad. <laughs> We're just not going to talk about that. I don't even want to talk about that. Y'all see, did you see that fish dive on this bait? I called him up. That's what it was. Y'all see that? I called him up. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Get your home. Oh, it's Wait, that's shot. a huge one. Oh my god. Get the net. <laughs> did you see Bro, that? Bro, please be a four or five pounder. Please. Oh my god. It's not a large. Are you sure? Yes. It's Bro, not. this thing is massive. It's not a large. Oh. <laughs> it's not. I'm freaking out, dog. This thing's long. Don't don't lose it. It's a good one, dude. Oh, oh, oh god, it's a four pounder. <laughs> <laughs> That's him, dude. 
Oh, all right. Got that big bass right. energy. <laughs> if you don't have some, go cop some. Because you want to know what got this fish? Last 30 seconds of the day, 5% battery. We got it done. Shug bug, big bass energy. I'd like to thank y'all. Had a great time. <laughs> Let's go. Brad, what, what do you got to say? I, I'm not, bro, I, I just did it. I got this donkey. Five seconds left on my card. Battery's dead. Last cast before. All class. right, he's not four pounds, but he's a solid three number. Three bro. number. You got. Look at these guys. We got to get a good. Oh yeah, on them spotted bass. Man, you're hyper, Brad. Yeah, that pumped you up last second, didn't it? Sir. That was a good bite. You almost had two of them. How do you quit fishing in this? Like how? I, got to. I know you got to, but <laughs> it's hard not to. You know what I mean? Part two, baby. Stay tuned for part two if you want to see some more big spot energy. Big spot energy, baby. All right, Brad. Little Brad. Uh. Update. Update. Guys, uh, this lake's confusing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But you don't want to know what made it through the day. I'm not even going to cap. Kept my head high. Got a good guide with me. Not even a guide. Good angler out here. But I had this big bass energy. Got, got me baby. this new fresh hat from my boy. Just because you got to keep it. Got to keep that big bass energy. Keep your momentum high. And just throw these big boy baits because you never know like literally would you have thought Noah would have caught a fish on this let's actually like sit there and think about this that no that just doesn't happen <laughs> i told you a lot of stories but i don't know if you're believing man me. i was like oh he's like yeah we're gonna go out there we're gonna we're gonna smash him and i'm gonna throw the biggest bait you've ever seen i'm like all right literally comes out here wax him last five minutes before i have to go to class so let's get it had a good day appreciate noah taking me out here on his home body Finally got to see the Lake Master. <laughs>